Welcome to Prime Time Kitchen's How Tuesday. Hey, I'm Jim. Hey guys. That's Tori. Tori for the BDMs. Oh, Let's touch them up. Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Cheek. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys doing tonight? We're uh, going to make something cool tonight. We're on this kick of making dinners that you can make cheap and that taste delicious and they make the best leftovers ever. Tonight we're going to make beef stroganoff. Yes. And to you know, we did a cost analysis for you guys on this particular dish, and it, just assuming you have like Worcestershire sauce and flour and and butter, and margarine, and the, like onions and garlic, you know, ch chances are you have all those all the time. We just bought some sirloin uh, flayed uh, beef. This cost eleven dollars. Yeah. Uh, we bought some noodles. We got good noodles. I think we should start putting the prices up so yeah. everybody can see like how much yeah, yeah. you know these meals are costing. Yeah. Well, cool. So you're gonna make dinner for four people tonight. A really nice beef stroganoff dinner with real steak, not ground beef, and you're gonna do it for about seven dollars a person. Okay. So I think we should first tackle the noodle. Oh yeah. Contest. We have this giveaway. Oh, by the way, we love this. Guys, thank you so awesome. much for getting involved. We had a lot of people get involved. We had over 700, 700 people, people registered guess. to guess this. So this was a lot of fun. Look forward to more of these, all right? I mean, games like this. We'll probably keep this one, maybe put macro elbows in it next time. It's just a oh, lot that, of counting. Oh, you're counting that. I don't know. Uh, but this was a lot of fun, and, you know, we paired up with the Shun Company. We made a good deal with those guys to give out some knives. We're going to have some tickets to cool events, and that's what we're giving away tonight. Uh, the winner tonight will win two tickets to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards coming up this Thursday. Tori and I both will be there, plus tons of other chefs. It's the, the creme de la creme of Orlando culinary and craft cocktails and all the other stuff. And you will have won two tickets to this event. And our winner tonight is... Maria Robinson. Yes. You are the winner. You actually guessed 438... And we had 442 Ooh. pieces. Yes. So you're only three off. So you are going to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards this Thursday night. Tori and I will be there as well. We'll hang out, have some drinks, eat some great food, and find out who the Sentinel thinks the best of the best is. And that's happening this Thursday. So if you want to be involved with these next contests, I think the next thing we're going to do is probably a Shoon Knife giveaway. Yep. yep. Just go to ptkradio.com. And just get registered. It takes no time at all. We're not going to charge you anything. That way you can be involved when these contests come up. And we're going to give away a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, later this year, we're going to give out some stuff from uh, Wassie's Meat, some Big Green Egg stuff. So, guys, just stay tuned in. Tell all your friends we do cool stuff here. Teach how to cook. And we give some cool stuff away. So, congratulations, Maria Robinson. You are the winner of the very first Primetime Kitchen contest. All right. Now let's make my drink. Now let's make your drink. All right. So, Tori, shut that part down. <laughs> Because she's ready to get alcoholic. That's fine. Um, so what we have here is just a watermelon. No big deal. Okay. All right. But we're going to do this a little different. We're making a watermelon vodka cooler you tonight. You say NBD. NBD. Saves time. And we're doing it with what we think is going to end up being our next kind of uh, maybe bring to you by. This is from Baron Peacock Winter Park. Hey, Alex. Now, by the way, if you want to see what this place is all about, join us in a couple of weeks. <gasps> May 24th. I so can't wait. That's a Thursday night. We're going to do a PTK kickback. So you come out, we're going to kick it back, have some drinks, play some games, trivia, tons of prizes. Maybe bingo. Maybe bingo. Maybe bingo. Tori's dying to have bingo. Oh. Hunger Street Tacos is going to be there, and they're amazing. Our buddy Bruno Fonseca. Yeah, and it's free. It doesn't yeah, not a, cost it does, it does not cost a dime. In, drink you, some beer and... Just show up and drink and have a good time. Yeah. So we're going to have stuff from Art Smith's Homecoming. We're going to have stuff from PTK Radio. Bubba Loo's. Bubba Loo's is giving us some stuff to give away. So Porky's. Ton, tons of prizes. Tons yeah. of fun. It's going to be a blast. We hope to see you there. May 24th, Bear and Peacock, 7 to 9. Come find us. Let's blow that place up and show these guys we need in business. And uh, I think Wayne will come aboard. We're using their vodka tonight. They're actually a brew distillery. Yeah. They do beer and spirits. What's up, Myrtle Beach? And we're gonna make their uh, we're gonna make this with their vodka tonight. By the way, you can see how that's been liked. <laughs> and by the way, we have name brand vodkas in the house, and this went very quickly. Well, so, yeah, it did. So I did go to JT last night. Tori got we Tori went from cutting her podcast to being in the Amway Center in about 40 minutes. She goes, could I really go? I'm, like, I'm going to drop you out front. Out front. You're going to find a great ticket for a cheap price, and you're going to go in and enjoy yourself. What happened? Exactly what I said. I did. Except you didn't get that good of a seat. Oh, that story in itself, Oh, I can't that's a post-show right story yeah, that you yeah. should share. But anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get started, all right? Okay. Watermelon. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with our sharp knife. We're going to be very, very careful. I thought you cut straight like a crust. Huh? Like... No, no, no. I mean, 
would think that you would Well, just, you like, can, but what we're going to do is because okay, what okay. we want to do. I trust you. Okay, you should. You want to just kind of. Oh, my God. This looks very dangerous. It, oh, look. <laughs> Jimmy, if you stab yourself in the chest. Oh, my God. That would be the. Wait, I'm not calling 911 immediately. Oh, yeah. But everybody will know that it wasn't me. So, I did just re up my insurance. <laughs> so. <gasps> See, but you're supposed to cut it this way no, no, so no. you can. Watch, because I'm going to show you something. Okay. Okay, we're going to have this and we're going to set this to the side. We thought that that could be. Mm, how is that, I wonder? You love them. Oh, uh -huh. little Tory fun fact, guys. Mm. My girl is a gigantic fan of the watermelon. All right. Mm, yeah. Immersion or yep. emulsion blender. Yep. Stick blender for those guys. They make them big, they make them small. This is like one of the best things you probably don't have in your kitchen right now. Because when we make our marinara, when we're breaking down sauces to get that real good, you want one of these things to break that down. They're not that expensive and they last forever. It's like dance moves. We're about to get in here. You ready? Oh my. Ah! Just get down in there. So we're gonna. Hey guys. We are. What's up, Georgia? Right on. So what we're doing is we're just taking an immersion blender and we're gonna go all the way down in this watermelon. We stole this uh, from Alton Brown, where credit is due. It's like a little boat motor. We're gonna go down on the Rhine. What are we doing though, Tori? We are juicing the AF out of this. That didn't even fit. I'm trying to get cool and it's failing. Pat, I love watermelon. So what we're making is we're making the watermelon cooler. We're juicing this three, four pound, whatever, watermelon. Okay. All right, so we're gonna call that good. Throw me that other piece, so I can, throw me this piece here. Just throw it in there so I can ground it down. No, 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 you are the, I'll you're so nasty. Is it good though? <laughs> the bad part will be going to the bottom of this thing. I'm gonna back up so they can see that you made a mess all over the place. It, it's not that bad. You, you know, you you give me a really look. bad. Look. Tori. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna strain this. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take it through a um, like a mild sieve first. Okay. And then we're gonna take it a little, through a little bit more of a finer sieve. Boom, shock it, look at that. Already looks like a fruit, like a strawberry daiquiri, doesn't it? Oh, it's so good. That juice smells nice and sweet too. Yeah, it's very good. Tori, if you don't mind, could you hand me a spoon so you can push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get one out of there if you want. Push wrong. it real good. Uh-huh. By the way, welcome to the show. This is show 43, I believe. Yep. Um, we're making, uh, we're gonna make some uh, beef stroganoff here in a second. But first. I, I, I feel like you're. Oh. You know what I feel like? I feel like you are talking to me in a way that you should not, especially with everybody listening. Okay. Tori, I swear in my life, you gotta leave me alone. You just, you're driving me crazy. Literally driving me crazy. Well, you're not Jimmy. Tori, Look at this. it's a little bit of watermelon juice, man. Whatever. Last week, it looked like somebody, it looked like downtown dance floors um, last week. Robbie said, that's electricity and that's watermelon juice. Is that really safe? Yes, it's PTK. fine. My God, easy snowflake. <laughs> it's going to be just fine. Did you just call I call him a snowflake. My God, man, enough with it. All right. Okay, be careful. So we only need this much. That's true. So I'm, gonna do, hold. I'm gonna move. Okay, you putting it back in there? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sit it right there for a second, okay? That's probably gonna be fine, right? <laughs> so we're gonna strain it one more time, Tori. Okay, okay, I'm ready. So we got our, our finer sieve there. Yeah. Tori has texture issues, guys. I do have texture issues, but I don't think there's gonna be a lot in here. No, it's fine. Yeah, so that's don't, our- Don't push it with the spoon. No, 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 stop, because you're just making- Tori, <sighs> Tori. This look makes look zero at me. Sense. Look at me, Tori. Put it in here. Look at me, Tori. You are driving me crazy. Who cooks in the house? Do I tell you? But you don't make drinks. Do I tell you when you are being uncool to me? All right, here we go. <laughs> There's still plenty of juice. By the way, just to give you an idea. That thing makes a lot of juice. That's a lot of juice. All right, so what we're gonna do is. Mm, that, I think that's ratio. Huh? Is the ratio gonna work? Yeah, you know what? I think it'll be fine. We can test it. That's a good thing about this, right? But here, we only have one lime. Okay. So we want to make sure that we get this right. So let me do this for you. That's actually a really good point. Oh, did I make a good point? Well, you did make a good point. 
Hey Carlos, we are making beef stroganoff, but before we do that, we have to get Tori some liquor. Right. And so we're making. So we're making a watermelon cooler. This is about one and a half cups. Yep. A watermelon juice. All right. All right. Which is freshly squoze. It's squoze. Squoze. We're gonna do about a. Get your ass in the house. How much is that? About a half a cup of vodka. I feel like we need more, but I'm not trying to tell you your business. You shouldn't. Um, and we are going to need this lime, which we have right over here. Thanks, Willie White. Move this up to the side. Okay. What are we doing? I'm going to cut my Andrea. lime lengthwise. Hey, Andrea. The Andrea? Dre? The Dre. Oh, my gosh. Where are we going in June? Tori and Andrea. Dennis. The no, it's Daniel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tori and the beautiful Daniel Dennis. You might know him from this, uh, is it Tom and, Tom, Tom and, and Sam? Is it Tom and Sam? Yeah. The Tom and Sam podcast here in town. Uh, startup. <laughs> I think. Just trying to get its feet off the ground. <laughs> you know what? So, okay, where are we going? What are we going? Gonna We're going to go see Hall and Oates together. Woo! I can't wait. Okay. Oh, man. Watermelon cooler. Oh man, that is gonna be a summer thing. Is it, is it really? Is oh, it good? I good never, time. I never made one. <laughs> we do a lot of I never made stuff on this we show. Do a ton of we food. should probably we should probably be a little more transparent. Oh. Okay, so what we're drinking is a watermelon oh. cooler. It's oh, very good. Oh man. We mixed up the watermelon. So we cut the watermelon open, took our immersion blender, yep. went down in there, made juice. And by the way, you can see that's a big drink, and we have enough to make five more of those from just one watermelon. Yeah, yeah. So, give you an idea of how to gauge that. Now, this actually, in my opinion, you need more sweet. No, no, no. no. I think it would need a little bit more triple sec in there, but the vodka content you is would. perfect. By the way, we love this vodka. This is from Baron Peacock. Yep. They are a brewstiller. You can buy this, and by the way, very fairly priced. Man, oh man. Let's make some food to wash that down with. What do you say? Wash. Okay. Let's make some food to use that to wash down. All right, beef stroganoff. Yep. All right, so this is a really easy dish. All right. Yeah, it's peach schnapps. Yeah, there is peach schnapps in it. Yeah, look at the recipe online. Yeah. Look, we, we okay. got the recipe offline. Yeah. So we just yeah. saw it. Tori saw it. It's mm -hmm. If you type in watermelon cooler, I think Epicurious has one up, so you can check that one out. Okay. You can add stuff to this one. I see guys do using mint in there if they want. So you can grab Grand Marnier. Mm -hmm. has that great it's little so orange good. flavor. But that water, you want that watermelon to shine. And watermelon is very mild already, so don't expect a lot of, like, boom. It's a nice, cooler drink. It's perfect. You can even put a little champagne in there. Or a soda, in my opinion, to get a little spritz. We're bougie. We say champagne. So I shop on now. All right, okay. so. Yeah, what are we doing? So we're going to have to saute this beef off here in a second. But first things first, we want to get our veggies ready. Here's why. Because as soon as our beef comes out of the pan, after we sear it off. Yeah. And sort of do it, right back into that pan, we're going in with our, um, actually we're doing our mushrooms and onions first. Pulling those to the side, beef. And then we're going to make the little broth. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's Russian. Beef stroganoff is Russian, right? Uh, it says not at the end, so that's Russian. I mean, yeah, honestly, I uh, I wouldn't know if it's uh, Russian or not. Hungarian, maybe? Um, Joanne's allergic to clear liquor. Is she really? What does that mean? Is it corn? Um, <coughs> yeah. What are you allergic to in the clear liquor? That's horrific, though. Yeah, that wouldn't be the that would be, that wouldn't be the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't drink a lot of white liquor though. We touched tips earlier, Robert. Yeah, we already did that. Um, but we do want you guys to join us uh, May twenty fourth at Baron Peacock. Yeah. You know, just show out. Let's have some fun. We haven't seen you guys in a while. It'd be good to get together mm -hmm. and have a good time. Something we it's loved from doing last seven year. Seven or nine. Seven or nine. And it's free. Free event. That's right. Yeah. Like, come out and buy your own beer. That's all we ask. Enjoy their beer. They have flights, and the beers are great, by the way. No, this isn't a potato. This is Parmesan cheese. That's Parmesan cheese. And he's cutting up onions right now. Yeah, so we're not Turkish. That's the other bottle. The other bottle is um, vodka from Baron Peacock, which is so smooth you could drink it all by itself. But we're not going to do that because that means we would be alcoholics. So we put watermelon juice in there to take that away. <laughs> right, and a little triple sec to sweeten and, it up. And a little triple sec, and then. Straight watermelon juice. You're welcome. We're cutting these onions thin. Okay. This is going to be in the body of our beef stroganoff, which is basically onions, mushrooms, Worcestershire sauce, sour cream, beef stock, and some strips of sirloin. Now, a lot of people do make this dish with hamburger meat. 
I can't stand the way the hamburger meat looks in a pan with nothing else in there. I think it, it's just, it, it's gross to me, so I'm not doing that. We don't have friends on kitchen cutting boards yet, but I'm hoping to have them before Christmas. Um, we'll probably have them in, available in November, but we'll see. I have to talk to, I gotta talk to China. Right. Because everything comes from China. And Tori knows them all. <laughs> I know the Chinas. She does know the Chinese over there. Okay, so we're just cutting up. Yeah, buttons. we're just we're getting these ready to go. If you want to turn them out, let's tell you what. Let's get our pan water here. I know it's not Turkish because it ends in nof. Well, is that really a tell? Is that really know. Tori? Are you just whatever? They don't okay. know if I know or not. <laughs> well, I think they're probably going to wind up knowing. You think? <laughs> LJ said because nothing good comes from Turkey. God almighty! Oh, that's a lie. What did we have for Mother's Day? We went to Boss first. Which is? A Turkish restaurant in Winter Park. Oh, and boy, they have some bread. Boy, they have a lot of things. So tomorrow. Namely a full dining room every night. Tomorrow, the link for um, the PTK brunch is going to go up. Yeah, that's going to be a Tapaturo down on I Drive. Yeah, so that's June 24th. Um, so I'll have the link up, up for that. You, if if you have registered onto ptkradio.com, you would have gotten an email today. So you can buy tickets early because we have limited seating. It's only 125 seats. So we offered them to our um, the people that are registered. Right. And then tomorrow we're, we're offering to everyone else. And, and look, I, you know, listen, guys, uh, it is what it is. The show, we have a lot of fun at these events. I mean, we give a lot of prizes out, they're fun. So if you're not on that registration list, do it just simply because it'll probably sell out because I think we're only having, a, at the, the Tapatura event, it's only 150 people. 125. 125, so even yeah. worse, slash better. And it's gonna be the deal of a lifetime, trust me. Hey, Steven. Like bottomless drinks, unbelievable food choices, really, it's gonna be an insane depth time. They said that you didn't wash the doo-doo off of the mushrooms. I don't, guys, enough with that. I'm so sick of hearing it. You Chris, have no idea. Chris is smoking a blunt. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Is there anything else Chris would like to share? He shared more, but I couldn't read it fast okay. enough. Oh, it's coming out? Yeah. Um, so, guys, if you do like the video, we ask you to like and share. Just seriously, just try to get everybody you know to like and share the video so we can get the word out about the show. We love doing it. We want to keep doing it. I don't know that I love doing it. I love doing it. But I drink. Mm. Cheers, by the way, Vinny. Cheers. I love you very much. What are you drinking? I love you, Decoy. Too. You know what? Stinky because it's a little stank. It's a little stank because you left it out. Mm-hmm. It's fine. All right, so. Yep, get some butter. Onions. Okay, and mushrooms. Mushrooms. And garlic. garlic. Get all the, that The beginning of everything that ever was delicious. Yeah. Now, I'm using the rubber for the, uh, the wooden spoon. It's not to hear from more snowflakes tonight. <laughs> Hurting their sensibilities with the sound of. It is uncalled for. What? Do you call people so late? No. Oh. Oh, I think maybe so. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Is that good business? <laughs> Insulting the customers? Is that not good? No. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to saute these down. Thanks, Carol. And this is actually, as soon as we get done with this, this Take is, that, Joe. This is going to go pretty quick, believe it or not. This is a really fast dish. Now, the reason why we love making dishes like this, guys, in the middle of the week, this will hold over. This is somebody's lunch the next day because you can make a bunch of it. And like I said before, guys, we spent $11 on this beef. This is, if you shop for good sirloin, find it on sale. This is just sirloin steak. You can buy top sirloin, the ones that are a little bigger like that. The strips will be a little thinner. It doesn't matter. We're going to cut it so thin. We're going to kind of braise this. It's going to stay tender. We'll have no problem there. Thanks for sharing, Zach. Um, how much garlic did you put in here? One clove. We oh, that's it? Yeah, just one clove. We don't really need a whole lot. <laughs> Salton said, uh, to hell with those snowflakes, melt them with your bourbon. <laughs> I do have bourbon. Oh, not tonight though. Maybe. Too many you onions, LJ said. You don't. <laughs> Is there anything else I could do to make it perfect just for you, LJ? I don't know. Maybe. Is there a possibility, LJ? Mm -hmm. Oh, got him. Got him. Take that. Stung. Okay. By the way, this nothing in the world smells better than this. I mean, sauteed onions and mushrooms are the magic that God meant us to enjoy. Well, but he meant for you to wash the doo-doo off before. Yeah, I don't know that he did. Uh, everything is going to die. <laughs> There's nothing going to live through that heat that's about to happen there. All okay. right, so since we're already good there, we're going to go ahead and cut our beef up into little strips. Good sharp knife. Okay. Cutting it nice and thin because we want it to stay, we want it to stay nice and tender. 
You gotta remember this is wrapped up with some pasta when we get going, so it's gonna be nice. Get your get your nice knife, a knife nice and sharp so it'll go through this. And this is good beef, so I mean, it's just Publix beef. Nothing special, guys. It'll work just fine. Um, just You do want something in the, the sirloin kind of world, though. Don't try to do this with top round. It's gonna be hard to pull off. It's gonna be tough. You wanna get something, I'm gonna trim that, the source came off there a yeah. little bit. Trim that up real Difficult. quick. Yeah, we don't need that there. Okay. Connect our strips here. So, can you use hamburger meat with this? You can. But you don't. I don't. Um, I, you know, here's the thing. I just don't like it with hamburger meat. There's really no other way to say it. I don't like the way that uh, hamburger meat looks in dishes like this. Okay. Uh, it just it grosses me out. And uh, to be honest with you, we really didn't spend that much more on this steak. That steak that you, you see me doing is was only eleven dollars. So, do you recommend sautéing with no pants on? No. All right. You didn't let me answer it. I wasn't going to say yes. Oh, they said there's 159 types of bacteria in that doo-doo. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh how much were the tickets for... Um, how much did the tickets for Hall & Oates come out to? I had to well, think. more than Timberlake. No, well, no. Well, yes. But it was $159. Oh. I, I had to message Daniel and Andrea and say, Hey, it's $159. <laughs> they know. They knew the whole time. All right, we're gonna call this good. Okay, yeah, it's plenty. That's plenty of meat. Okay. We'll, we'll actually, we'll saute that, eat the, the dog. It's not for you to say if it's plenty of meat or not. It actually is for me to say that. It is? Oh. So, we don't wanna, we don't wanna cook these onions down to, to where they're mush. Okay. We want them to have some body. Okay. But more importantly, you see the color forming on them, Tori? Yeah. That's really kind of what we want. That's, we're gonna get a good little caramelization on there. It's gonna be really nice. Cause this is a nice savory, creamy savory dish. So we're almost done with that. We'll get those out of there. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and start sauteing the beef. Isn't that right? Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna have a little wine. Is that fine? Uh, Guys, like nice. and share the video if you don't mind. This is our little watermelon cooler. If you're just tuning in, we made this. See that watermelon? We cut the top off of it. We did. We took a stick blender down in there and just made a bunch of juice. Took this Baron Peacock uh, uh, vodka and some triple sec with a little bit of lime. And let me tell you, for you vodka connoisseurs out there, this vodka is too smooth. It's good. Well, what he said is they take, and I totally do not know what I'm talking about. They filtered a bunch. Well, they filtered a lot, and then they take a bunch off the top. They take the stuff out of the middle, and then they take all the stuff off the bottom. So they only use a, the premium vodka in the, the middle. premium premium vodka in the middle That's true. to do these, and you can totally tell. Onions and mushrooms are done. Okay. So we're just set these to the side. Oh my god, with the metal. <laughs> Nothing's better than people that complain. There's nothing in the world better than that. Oh, there it goes. And there we have it. The first Man, piece. Who's the number one complainer? <laughs> no, you're my number one, baby. My number one. Yeah, the cooler is awesome. It was delicious. What cooler? Ooh, Chris said you look good, boy. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh at that. But I had to. I didn't have a choice. It is comfort food on a rainy night, guys. All right. So we want our pan smoking? Yeah. All right. Amanda, it's going to be so good. I can't even talk about it. This is thin sliced sirloin. Yes, you can use hamburger meat if you want. Okay. Let me, uh, we're not going to get all bougie on everybody and make it think that we're better. We're just using sirloin steak because this is really kind of what the dish calls for. Okay. Um, uh, Chris wants to know if you can have cuddle guest host. Guest host what? These nails are on fleek, LJ. Guest this host. guy, LJ, needs to shut up. <laughs> this guy's on my last nerve. Um, guest host, how to stay? Mm-mm. No, we're gonna, we're gonna pass. No disrespect to Tuds. I love Tuds. Okay. Scott York said only savages use hamburger meat. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> a lot of our peeps out there some down with a hamburger. Hey, I don't mind some hamburger meat. I know you don't. 
I mean, I wouldn't cook my beef stroganoff like this if it were me by myself. I would actually be having... <laughs> right, macaroni and cheese. No. And fish sticks. No. That's oh, what you I don't eat. like fish sticks. But that's what you'd be having. No, raisin Green bran. beans. Raisin bran. Or raisin bran. I wouldn't want to <laughs> make too many dirty dishes. Um... Oh, also, yeah, uh, June 24th, too. Uh, when you register at ptkradio.com, get registered so you can be part of our contest. Tonight we told the winner. It's Maria Robinson. She's yeah. going this Thursday night uh, to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards. Uh, that's going to be downtown. That's a bunch of food, a bunch of drinks, and a bunch of people who make great food and drinks here in the city. Okay, so for the people that just joined, we are making beef stroganoff. And what we have are two onions a pack of mushrooms, one clove of garlic, and that's it, correct? Yeah. Okay, and that's what so we have So far that's here. it. Don't even have any salt and pepper on there yet. We do not. Not yet. Or, but we are we are literally so close to being done that you have no idea. Seriously, we are. There is 159 viewers, guys. For the really. <laughs> yeah. It haunts me. It does. This is gonna be a quick one tonight. Yeah, we're almost stubby. I'm serious, as soon as this browns up, we're gonna cook this for a few minutes. Um, okay. We're gonna braise it for a few minutes with some um, with some beef stock. So, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. God, man, you know what? I I find myself going back and eating sushi a lot. I I, I love sushi and um, and I love the Mexican palate. I love all things Mexican. Uh, our buddy Tamales and Malas again. Yeah. Had one today. I mean, it's they're addictive. It's almost too much. That is genuinely. Yeah. I mean, just unbelievable food. I love that palate. It's so earthy and delicious. Okay, so um, could could we do a vegan dish? A I vegan? Guess? I can do vegetarian. I have a, a couple really good vegetarian dishes. Okay, so wait, wait, how can that not be vegan? This is all vegan, right? That's um, all vegan. Well, that's vegan, yeah. So but. we would just replace that with like tofu. I mean, we've never cooked with duty tofu before, <laughs> Robbie. Okay. But I'm not sure that's uh... But I'm sure it would be like the same if you like the tofu. Okay, how much are you done? Beef stock. Okay. That's probably about a cup and a half. All right. That's going to be our sauce the eventually. Base. So what we're going to do is now, usually I would kind of cover this. And I'm not going to this time uh, because I don't have a cover for this giant pan. Yeah, we love Mexican. Um. Beef struga. Hey, everybody needs to like and share. Yes, they do. Like and share. Okay. Uh, these are egg noodles. Yep. All right. Now, we bought fancy organic. Oh. I, I have a knack. I just, I have, there's no other way to say it. I can make a mess from nowhere. It's just simply amazing, dude. It's fine, baby. It's fine. It, and it's just amazing how often it happens to me, though. No, no, it's just Aww, now it's no, 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 honestly. Aww. Tell me the edge of that thing Go right there. The Can't hold shut them. <laughs> Alright. Egg noodles in. Okay. Alright. We're just gonna cook these for about eight minutes. They said right. smooth move, X Lax. I know. Let me get mine here. Let me get my strainer. Oh, it's out here. You gotta see when this thing comes together, it's gonna be like, yeah. boom, it's all done. Um, not good to cook the meat and veggies together. I guess she's asking. I... Um, so we don't want to overcook them. We want to. Uh, so if we had them boiling like this, uh -huh. it wouldn't be exactly kind of what you want. And we're supposed to. This should be kind of turned down a little bit, and the tops on is going to cook for a few minutes. We're going to kind of make it through here pretty quick. Okay. Because we're turn, We're about to cook the stock down a little bit, and then turn it into our gravy, our our sauce. So is that meat going to be tough though? It's not. Okay. Okay. Because uh, we seared it off first. The sirloin. It's not going to be tough. It's going to be nice and nice and uh. Uh, tender. Certainly, don't always have a uh, enough fat in there to keep it tender. You'll be you'll be fine. Oh, okay. It's the same like the steak you eat when you eat like fast seared Chinese food. That's sirloin usually. It's, so when do you add your salt? Is that after you put? So the... what's going to happen is is when I get this sauce built in a second, you're going to see the other little trick we do here. Okay. Um, to create the sauce, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to see how. Uh, we put the salt in. I want to actually get everything done here before we put the salt in, and I'll do the salt at the very end. Steven said this is way better than street beef. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> street beef was no fun sometimes. Daniel's texting me. Daniel, I can't read it, honey. All right, so sour cream. 
Sour cream. Sour cream. All right. Sour cream, trust me. All right, I'm gonna put a little worse, sure. Worse, sure, 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 sure. Okay, how much? Uh, about, a, about that much? About a teaspoon. Not too much, it takes over if you, okay. if you let it. Did you need me to flip this? Yeah, sure. No, we know I can't do that. I was just joking. I was waiting for you to tell me no. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're gonna make a slurry. Bye, Chris. Slurry is flour. This is about a quarter cup of flour. Okay. And what's left of the stock that I didn't knock over? <laughs> right. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Don't ever panic. Fine. Yeah, it smells really good, Jason. So take your whisk. That is a slurry. That is a professional thickening machine is what that is right there, okay? Okay, that's flour? Flour and corn. beef stock. Oh, there's can, no cornstarch? No, you can use cornstarch. Okay. But cornstarch basically is just a, you know, basically a faster version of what we're doing here. It's achieving. Yeah, yeah okay. well, you yeah, know, I mean, it's a technique. I mean. Chris, we will have this recipe up on ptkradio.com under recipe, under our recipe section. This is episode 43, I think. Damn, Shotty. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah. Becky's making this tomorrow. They love these easy recipes, babe. And this is, and we've honestly, we've taken a lot of time tonight just kind of screwing around talking. Mm -hmm. If you came in here and got right to this and, and used ground beef, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you're done. Mm -hmm. You can boil the noodles and they don't even have to stay hot because we're going to mix them all together at the last moment. We're just going to toss it all in. That? All right. Is there more yeah. watermelon cooler? Yeah. Right. So we're going to introduce our slurry. Okay. We're going to do it a little bit at a time, okay? Don't do it all at once. Why? Because you're going to see, well, here's the thing. You're going to see this already thickening. Oh, wow. Okay? That's already. And that's gonna, just flour. That's just a little bit of flour and a little bit of beef stock. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to, it's already going to start thickening. You see it already kind of building that nice gravy uh, kind of texture we want? Yeah. All right. Let's we'll start doing some tasting, babe. What do you say? Let's do it. Yeah, those will be done in no time. Let me see. Um, Joe wants to know if you're going to write a cookbook. No. Uh, beef stock is Jim's retirement plan. Beef stroganoff is your stripper name. All these are funny. <laughs> totally 90s, totally funny. I love it. I love the 90s. Only when we do it, though. Not when other people do it. Okay, so. See our, look at our, look at our stock there. House. Sorry, Jimmy, after three IPAs. All right. <laughs> That's true. All right, so there we go. We have our gravy. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to add some black pepper. No, we didn't drain the meat, Robbie. Mm -mm. Hell no. You, well, oh, we, want, we want all that in here. It's okay for you to drain. It actually needs, needs a little bit more moisture. Right? A little bit more moisture. I'm not going to, I'm not. It's too much, Lori. All right. It's too much. It's this delicious drink you made me. Um, so we already have a nice thick gravy, and we are about to make it even better. Uh, they're asking if, if you could add, like, red wine to this. You could, but then it turns it into something else. Yeah. Yeah, red wine, then you start getting into beef burgundy. Mm -hmm, and really, mm -hmm. that's kind of what it is. Mm -hmm. Sour cream? This is the craziest thing ever. So we're going to put, that's probably about two tablespoons. Let's incorporate it real quick and see where we are. Brie told you to relax. And I agree with Brie. Well, Brie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't, um, go ahead and please like and share. Please, pretty please. We're begging. We're not begging. I don't, we're not begging. But it would be really nice of them. We will do beef burgundy when it, well, is it because it takes too long to cook well, the meat right? Well, the way I would usually cook it, it would be, but we can make it happen. Bree, I didn't see what you say, honey. I just saw that you said say it. This looks so good. Okay, so now we salt and pepper, correct? Yeah, we're about to do some tasting. And since this is our house. Marie's coming from Kentucky, so you can come and. Uh, oh my God, Tori. Cook for her. For the salt. That noise you just made. They said your gravy looks so good. Chris is in love. Tell Chris I love him too. Oh, yes. Here. Joe said there's heavy breathing. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> Babe, apparently you're breathing too hard. I'm used to it. It's like uh, white noise to me. White noise, that would be my, if I was uh, on, if I was part of the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at your breathing. Babe, I told you you breathe heavy. Well baby, it's just because I'm a passionate man. <laughs> 
going. We're, we're going done. to go on a diet, right? We're done. Fine. Honey, I'm in perfect shape. I'm going to live to like 61. Hashtag, this is thick. You know it's... You're... <laughs> no, he doesn't smoke. Are you crazy? We don't say that name, Steven. Neither of them. Or all three, as a matter of fact. Heavy breathing and double dipping. It's no way to be. I don't, are you going to throw that at me? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Robert's watching from Vegas. Mm. Done right now. Is it? Mm. You need over here? Mm. There's a lot of stuff happening in the sink. Okay. Hey, while you're doing that, I'm just going to come over here and get some more of this. Okay. Delicious. Okay, so this is the watermelon cooler that we made at the beginning of the show. We took uh, the Baron Peacock Genius Vodka, a little bit of triple sec, and we took an immersion blender, this this thing, and just, yeah, gee, gee. and just stuck it in here and worked it, and then we made watermelon juice. Which we have almost that same amount still left in the watermelon. So yeah, one of these tons. relatively small watermelons yeah. will make enough cocktails for like, seriously, it'll make probably six of those 12 ounce deals. Hey, what brand are those egg noodles? This is the Flora. Let me look. Right here. Flora. Oh, have it. Okay. They're just, you know. Just regular. Well, yeah. Kind of. You ready? Are they irregular? No, they're just, you know, they're they're different than molars. Like, okay. you just want to get right every the the molars are cheaper, like way cheaper, so. Okay. These are just organic good egg noodles. They have that nice bright. And do we try to use organic? We try to. Why? Uh, because it tastes better. It does, right? <laughs> it's that, it's that, it does. I mean, it's just that simple, really. And we look just... At the, look at those beautiful noodles, guys. Are you kidding, kidding me? Wow. Seriously. Those are really... How would you want anything? Okay. So we're going to take our beef stroganoff, which is sour cream. Hey, John. No, we haven't done sushi, Derek. Not yet. You're breathing heavy. <laughs> Look at this. So what we want is a little bit of this. So what is this? Just chopped parsley. Oh, okay. And I like to do a little shave of... Jerry grew up with stroganoff over rice. Yeah, you can do it over rice if you want. Oop. We needed that one off anyway. We're gonna do a little Chris shaving. Have nice noodles. Thank you very much. We have shaved Parmesan. So it's got your and there we go there's our beef stroganoff it's pretty easy now we did it and we screwed around quite a bit tonight and still got this dish done in 39 minutes we didn't even start cooking this dish until 10 minutes into the show yeah it's true and you have this nice rich beef gravy and again we've said this a thousand times we'll say it a thousand times more Add what you want in there. If you want a different kind of mushroom, like portobello or some wild mushrooms, mm -hmm. do it. It's just going to make it more flavorful. You want to cut up some green onion or asparagus dips in that? Do it. Nothing's going to stop you. Once you make that beef gravy, which is basically just reduced beef stock with our added stock and our slurry, you're done. I mean, that's pretty much the dish, all right? So we love this. The Worcestershire sauce and the sour cream yeah. really make it that beautiful creamy thing. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous and it's going to taste great. If you don't mind, like and share the video, guys. It's uh, very easy to do. Let's get the word out there. Don't forget, May 24th, we're going to be at the Bear and Peacock in Winter Park. We can't wait to hang out. 7 and 9, Hunger Street Tacos is going to be there doing a pop-up. Tons of prizes, hey, games, fun stuff. That's a good time. Plus, they have a ton of great beer. And uh, we want to see you guys there. Don't forget, June 24th, Tapatura. We're going to do our big brunch celebration. That's 125 only. So if you're on that pre-registration, if you're not, you need to do it. That way, when we get the opportunity for you to buy the ticket, you can buy it and you don't get left out. But I would suggest the minute it hits you, buy the ticket because the gig is going to sell out. Because 125 isn't that much. And we're going to have flamenco dancers, tons of prizes and games. It's going to be a blast. And I believe everybody that gets in is going to get a little something from Primetime Kitchen as well. So uh, thank you very much. Again, like and share the video. Visit ptkradio.com. Big thanks to our sponsors. And big thanks to the guys over at Baron Peacock for providing the vodka tonight for our vodka cooler. I'm coming to get another bottle, guys. That's right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, big thanks to Wassie's Meats in Melbourne, uh, Porky's Barbecue, and our brand new sponsor, Goldsmith Jewelry, for everything special right there on Lee Road. 
407-297-8000. And Mike Oliver Holmes for all of your real estate needs. He got this place for us and he got rid of the other one. He can do it for you as well. And I don't care what your situation is, Mike can take good care of you. We love Mike Oliver Holmes. So thanks to all of our great sponsors. And guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday right see you here. next and, Tuesday. And by the way, we're going to have another contest. So please go to PTK Radio and register. We want you guys to win cool stuff like Maria Robinson did earlier tonight. She won two tickets that go to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards this Thursday. That's like a $50 a piece ticket. It is. And it's drinks, food, and everything from the best of Orlando. So we're giving more of that stuff away. So tune in next week. We'll see you next Tuesday right here on Primetime Kitchen's House. Tuesday. Bye guys. Bye guys. Make this dish.